right? They want us to um, factor this over the complex numbers, meaning find all of the factors of this equation, and there should be three factors. That's what we're eventually going to try to get to. All right, they, they're actually encouraging us to use a graphing calculator, and that's good because what we can find with our graphing calculator is we could find one of our zeros is right here at 7. Actually, I think it was going this way. Well, let's see. No, it would be going down. It would be going this way. Like that. And so right here at 7, we found one of our zeros, which means x equals 7, which means x minus 7 equals 0, which means x minus 7 is one of our factors, linear factors. So that's good, because now what we can do is we can use synthetic division with the number 7 to factor or to find the quadratic formula that goes along with this. So let's do that. Negative 1, 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, times 2 is 2 is 14, that's negative 10, negative 70, perfect. So we see that negative 1x squared plus 2x minus 10 is our other factor. So that's what these two things multiply to right here. Those two linear factors multiply to negative x squared plus 2x minus 10, which means I all I need to do is now factor this. Well, it doesn't factor because they're not they're not integers, mm -hmm. and so we're going to have to use another method. We could either use the quadratic formula, which a lot of people sort of revert to immediately, and that works. That can get us the answer, but. It, you're going to have to, in this class, you're going to have to learn how to use uh, completing the square. So I'm going to do that method instead. So here's how you complete the square. First of all, I can multiply everything because essentially I'm setting this equal to 0. So I'm going to multiply everything through by negative 1. And that will just make it a lot easier to complete the square on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 10 over to the other side. So it's negative 10. And I'm going to... I like to use these boxes if you've been watching my videos. I'm going to add the same thing to both sides of the equation. And that same thing is this, half of this squared, which is positive 1. And when I do that, I get x minus 1. I get x minus 1 squared. That's what this right here, that's a perfect square trinomial. That's why it's called completing the square because we've turned this into we went from two separate x terms which are not like terms to one single x term which now we can just solve this equation by isolating the variable the square root of negative 9 is 3i plus or minus 3i I'm sorry and then add 1 to both sides so 1 plus or minus 3i those are your two zeros so I have x minus 1 plus 3i and I have x minus 1 minus 3i because these were my two zeros my two other so my zeros were 7 and then 1 plus 3i and 1 minus 3i which were represented by the way somehow with I don't have zeros here but they would because it didn't come back down and hit the axis the x-axis again this means that two of my zeros were complex because it didn't come back and hit the x-axis anywhere. Mm -hmm. So that's how I factor that polynomial over the complex numbers.